Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Denver Beard Reviews. Thank you all for stopping by the channel, checking out this video. If you could, please like, subscribe, share the video with your bearded friends, um, check out some of the other videos. I truly appreciate all your all support over the last year, and I cannot thank you all enough. Today's episode, we'll be talking about a company out of Layton, Utah, by the name of Coon Products. Please stand by after the short introduction, and I'll jump right into the review. All right, guys, welcome back. And again, today's episode, we'll be talking about Coon Products out of Layton, Utah. Coon Products was founded in December of 2018 when the owner, Chris, stopped by a local drugstore. Uh, he had forgotten his beard balm at home and needed something for his beard while visiting family out of town. Uh, he grabbed a product off the shelf, took it to the car, popped it open, and the smell of the product was absolutely horrible. Horrible. Uh, the consistency was also like using vas Vaseline to moisturize your beard. And with this experience, Chris decided to make something significantly better for the bearded consumer. Something that would smell amazing, look amazing, and not be greasy in beard. The word coon is German for bold, and this, this lives throughout the, uh, the company's brand. Um, through their packaging, scent profiles, and just overall vision of the company, they definitely definitely live, work, and create products that are bold. Uh, Coon Products offers beard oils, beard balm, beard butter, beard clay spray, boar's hair brushes, co-wash, mustache wax, hair skin, and beard moisturizer, pomade, sea salt spray, candles, vitamin C serum, anti-aging serums, butter, uh, body butter, skin moisturizer, clay masks, facial mists, and soap bars. So after the, rev the review, if you could, please stop by the description below. I will leave a link to their shop so that you all can check out all their awesome products. Again, this is not just a company for the bearded man, but also the female consumers. If you'd like to pick up something for your signif significant others, definitely give that a try and check those out as well. The first product we'll talk about is their one ounce beard oils. The one ounce beard oils will run you $20 on their website, industry average being between $15 to $20, so this is a great price point overall. Um, today, at the time of this video, their beard oils come in 18 different scent profiles, two of which I'll be reviewing today. Um, the bottle is very, very unique, uh, nice square bottle to it. And one thing that makes their company unique is on their beard oils and beard bombs, as well as a few of their other products out there. They have this um, wooden, seared wood um, label on the front of it with their brand name, uh, just the logo there. And then on the back, it's a common sticker with the barcode, scent profile, etc. Um, the ingredients of the beard oil are shea nut oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, Marula oil, Metafoam seed oil. Um, scent profiles, again, I have two here. Um, the first one will be the Mountain Whiskey. The second one is Apple Bourbon. Um, the first one is the Mountain Whiskey. It's a charred oak barrel smell with some vanilla sweetness on the back end of it. Absolutely awesome. Um, you get a sweet profile on the back end, but that charred oak wood at the beginning of it is real nice. It's almost like a, I almost consider this like a date night cologne scent, but uh, you definitely get the oak in there with the charred smoke wood to it and then um, some vanilla on the back end. Real nice clean cologne scent profile would be great to put in beard for um, a, a date night. That, that's what this reminds me of. The consistency of the oils um, kind of 
just little, little tiny tint of yellowish to it, but it is a clear oil and it is a light consistency. The beard oil smells awesome. Um, and uh, I really enjoyed this profile. Again, this is the Mountain Whiskey profile. Um, and I would consider this a nice, woody, sweet cologne fragrance for date night. And that's the Mountain Whiskey. The uh, second um, beard oil I have is their Apple Bourbon, which in my opinion is my favorite of the two. This one actually comes in a green matted glass bottle. Same shape, same consistency of the other. It just has a little bit of a different color for the apple. Same um, red wood label on the front. Real, real nice. You can It's texturized where they've burnt into the wood for the logo. Real nice look to it and real nice and unique. Um, the apple bourbon is apple cinnamon clove and some woody tones on the back end. Just awesome. This is probably one of my favorite apple fragrances out on the market for beard products. I absolutely love this one. You get the apple and the cinnamon on the front end, and that's what truly shines in this. But the clove and the wood on the back end really bring this one together. It's kind of hard to explain because all the components of the fragrance profile come forward, and you can smell them all but I really like that apple on the front end. And then, of course, you get the cinnamon. I'm a, I'm a cinnamon fan. Some people are not. I love the apple and cinnamon together. Almost reminds you just a little bit of an apple pie, fresh baked apple pie, but you get those wood tones and the clove on it too. Um, and again, that's the apple bourbon profile in the beard oil. My favorite of the two. Definitely give it a try. And again, I cannot get enough of these bottles. The bottles are awesome. Um, scent profile in beard lasts about three hours or so. Works real nice at keeping your beard moisturized. No tangles, no itchiness, no dryness whatsoever. Um, just an overall great product. Felt great in beard. Kept my beard nice and soft and moisturized. Um, and again, I cannot get enough of that Apple Bourbon profile. Absolutely awesome profile. Definitely check it out. Uh, the second item we'll discuss is their Beard Butter. Um, the two ounce Beard Butter uh, runs you $20, just the same price as the oils. Industry average being also between $15 to $20. So this is a, a real good price point. Um, comes in a uh, black tin with a screw off top and of course the unique labeling on the top with their burn in wood texturized just real real nice real wood profile on the top on the bottom the labeling is a common sticker real nice to read um, real easy uh, just real nice labeling overall and I just love the presentation with these wood labels at the top um, ingredients of the butter Shea butter, mango butter, shea nut oil, jojoba oil, marula oil, metaphone seed oil, and beeswax. So this, this is a butter with some beeswax in it. It's a poured butter. Um, the one thing that makes this product unique is you can get it with or without uh, kaolin oil. Ka kaolin oil. I think that's how you pronounce it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the, ka the kaola oil... Um, it helps to provide some absorption characteristics um, to absorb those excess oils that the product provides to your beard so you're not sitting around feeling all greasy and nasty. Um, and then also it helps with unclogging your pores and helps to remove impurities within your skin. So that's with the kaolin oil. And um, again, one profile, the, the hickory profile has it. The Black Sea profile does not. Um, but uh, again, that's the only difference in the ingredients list is uh, you get that shea butter and mango butter. And then again, like I said, uh, the kale and oil is included here in the hickory blend. Um, with the consistency and the color to it, it does have a little bit of change to it with the kale. And, this is without the kaolin oil in the, the bomb. This is with it. 
you can see a clear difference in the collar there. This has just a little bit of a creamy whitish collar, a little off-white collar, where this is more of a tannish collar to it with the kaolin oil. Both about the same consistency. Uh, real nice creamy texture to it. This is with the kaolin oil. Well, I didn't get much on there, did I? Whereas this is the without. And again, they both work great. Um, don't have to use your fingernail or your uh, guitar pick or anything to gather those bombs in your hand. Um, so it does come out real easy. Not a real, real thick or hard bomb whatsoever, but it does provide... Um, those bomb characteristics of being able to style your beard while also moisturizing your beard. Um, for the um, scent profiles, this is the Black Sea one, the one without the kaolin oil. And the Black Sea, to me, it, it, it's a, a fruitiness with some floral tones on the background. has some clove in it. Just a real nice, uh, if you kind of like those clean smelling fragrances, a little bit of sweetness from the fruit um, with some floral to it, Black Sea, I'd definitely check out. I really enjoyed this one. Um, it, it's masculine but floral. Um, if you don't like floral f f uh, tones, I probably wouldn't go with this one just, just in case. However, the Black Sea, it is a really nice profile. has some floral tones on the back end, but it is a real nice, clean-smelling profile. And that's the Black Sea without kaolin oil. This is the Hickory profile with kaolin oil. Again, that um, kind of tannish color because of the uh, kale and oil or the kale and clay. I keep saying oil. My apologies, kale and clay. Um, and uh, the hickory, of course, fresh smell of a hickory, fresh cut hickory wood is what you get. It's not a. You, you'll run into those hickories that are like a smoked hickory. This doesn't have smoke to it. Just a fresh cut hickory wood scent. Real, real nice. If you like wood tones without the smoke, definitely give this one a try. Really, really pleasant. Smells like you just cut down a hickory tree. Just real, real nice. Nice woody profile without the smoke. I really, really enjoy this one. And again, that's the hickory with kale and clay in it. Um, scent profiles in the beer, the, the beer bombs. Well, these are the butters. My apologies, I've said beard bomb. These are beard butters with uh, beeswax in them. Um, these will run you uh, $20. Uh, real nice scent profiles. Um, keep your beard nice and moisturized. Um, you're able to shape them and style them the way you see fit. Work real, real well. Um, it's not a real thick or hard bomb, um, but you're still able to get the flyaways away um, by also moisturizing your beard, which I really enjoy. I'm more of a butter fan myself over the bomb, um, but again, I think mostly for these products, um, the, beer, the beeswax is in there just to hold everything together. It does hold um, the flyaways down a little bit, but if you're looking for more of a styling product rather than a typical moisturizing product, I would go with a balm. Um, but again, uh, real, real nice product, and I really enjoyed both of them. The last item we'll be reviewing is their... This bottle's 8 ounces, but I've looked on the website since I received this, and uh, they have an updated 12-ounce uh, container of their co-wash. The co-wash 12 ounce containers run you $25, industry average from what I've seen run anywhere from about $15 up to even $30, depending on the brand. Um, so this is a really good deal, right smack dab in the middle. Um, comes in a uh, black plastic bottle with a pop top like any other conditioner type product. 
um, labels are different compared to the the uh, the bottles of the oil or the the uh, butter containers. Just a simple white label with some artistic characteristics, the artwork on the back end, but it's really really easy to read. I love when products use an easy to read product label, um, just so that you know what's going into your beard, um, and you know the full background of the ingredients as well as how to use the product. It includes a directions list, um, kind of tells you about why you would use a co-wash compared to like a beard wash or a beard conditioner. Um, and yeah, it has their address here at the bottom. The ingredients of the co-wash are distilled water, cetyl alcohol, excuse me, cetyl alcohol, cetyl alcohol, elastin protein, bamboo extract, blue flax extract, decyl glucosa, excuse me, decyl glucoside, shea nut oil, argan oil, babusa oil, aloe vera extract, polyquartinium 10, vitamin E, eta and potassium sorbate with the fragrance. Um, again, there's some chemical components in there. They're naturally derived ingredients, though, even though they're chemical compounds. Um, all of them are found completely safe by the FDA, and they're used throughout the cosmetic game and many different products. No worries whatsoever with this product as far as the ingredients. Um, the consistency of it, just a, a common... Um, kind of that hair conditioner, there we go, hair conditioner type consistency, nice and creamy uh, with the white collar. Scent profile on this co-wash is their birch wood. Real nice woody scent, um, foresty type profile with some masculine cologne tones. In all honesty, I over between the two um, wood profiles that I have here, the hickory and the birch wood. I actually prefer probably the bir the birch wood over the hickory myself. Um, just kind of those um, masculine cologne tones to it, but it is a real nice forest type profile walking out into a forest. I really, really like that. Um, when using this product, it keeps your beard really, really moisturized. Um, it's not one of those type of co-washes or beard conditioners where you feel like you just simply don't have enough on it. A little goes a long way with this product. Um, so it, it will last you. Um, you're not having to put some in and then have to reapply just because it feels like you don't have enough. Um, when using it too, the steam of the shower gathers in the room um, and the scent profile kind of um, fills the room, if you will. Uh, even after completion of your shower, you dry off, you leave the room, you're able to come back and you still smell that birchwood scent. Really pleasant, really nice, um, and uh, it leaves your beard feeling awesome. When I first get out of the shower after using the co-wash, it's not something where all like your beard just feels like it's uh, so dry and brittle that you're having to immediately apply uh, an oil or a butter or nothing. That with this, I feel like um, you could go a few hours without something and you wouldn't have any type of itchiness or dryness in your beard. Real nice profile. Um, of course, it, it conditions while also cleaning with a co-wash. Um, you're not able, you're, you're not experiencing a product that will remove all those natural oils to your beard. Um, but you're also able to keep it clean and it's gentle enough of a product that you can use it daily. Not something where you, you gotta skip a few days in between washes or anything. And, um, just a real nice overall profile. Probably, in my opinion, my favorite co-wash product on the market. I really, really enjoyed this one and just the f overall feel that it gives your beard. And again, that's um, tw 20, yes, I wrote it down. It is $25. This is the eight ounce container, but they now have 12 ounce containers for 25. Really good deal for an awesome product. Um, but yeah, guys, those are the products that I have here from Kuhn. 
Um, I'm excited to see where Chris takes this company in the future. I know they've been around since the end of 2018, um, and it really shows that he has the experience firsthand being a bearded man um, of what works, what doesn't, what scent profiles are good. Um, just a really, really nice company with some great scent profiles and are really trying to take care of the customer just from not only personal experiences, but also just um, I, f I feel like their company is expanding and growing and uh, working in to um, not only suit the bearded man, but also um, the significant others as well with their products. I, I really think they're taking the right direction. I personally, I wouldn't change anything about this company. Really, um, really look forward to seeing how they're going to grow over the next year or two. Um, if you could, please stop by the description below. Check out their products. Um, you cannot go wrong with the scent profiles. Nice and masculine, but also very pleasant and nothing that um, will upset, upset your significant other or be unpleasant to anybody. Um, there, you can also find them on, um, they're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And again, I cannot get enough of these logos. You're not going to find many products, if any products out there besides Coon with these um, wooden labels. Definitely give their products a try. Tell Coon that Denver Beard Review sent you. I sincerely appreciate your time taken out of your day to watch my video. Um, but again, take care, and I look forward to seeing you all on the next episode. See ya.